Okay, next effect we're going to talk about is this fracture healing, which again is only in using special types of ultrasound. And so low intensity pulse ultrasound has been shown to um, improve the healing rate for acute and especially non-union fractures. So those fractures that weren't healing um, appropriately, the use of ultrasound seems to be effective for that. Um, results are mixed and unclear on stress fractures and whether it has to be a full break where we, if you can see here, part of the break, right, is then you get um, this blood clot kind of around the area that allows the healing to occur, um, that granulation in the hematoma, that doesn't happen with the stress fractures. So they're not quite sure if the ultrasound really is effective because we don't really get to this point as, as easily as we do with a fracture itself. It definitely should be applied early in the process. It's less effective when it's applied late in the healing process. You want to get it at that point when it's early on um, in the stages of, of the bone recovery. So when applied early in the healing stages, the cavitation and that acoustical microstreaming increases the quality and strength of the callus that forms around. Um, it's not approved for use on the skull. It's not approved in skeletally um, immature individuals, so those with growth plates still open. Um, it hasn't been shown to be effective if they have an intermedullary rod. Um, and if they're on certain medications like calcium channel blockers, NSAIDs, steroids, or if they're a smoker, it seems to decrease the success, as well as age. Um, older individuals seem to have less success on using the ultrasound to increase the non-union rates than younger individuals.